Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. This is Dungeon CH3 and I'm playing this game on my Chromebook. Controlling this game with my Xbox 360 controller with the USB connection. So as you can see, game is running. No problem. Just to prove it, as you can see I'm going through menus. Press new, do a bit of gamma, gamma change. Skip the intro. Well, stop. Okay, I'll choose this. Let's do normal. Skip that. And it's me playing this game Dungeon Sage 3 on the Chromebook. Do you want to find out how I done it? Stay tuned. So, how to play PC games on your Chromebook. This method will work, or actually will show you two methods, the way you can play PC games. And this will work on any Chromebook, with Google Play Store enabled or not. And um, second method will work basically with any device that have a decent web browser. So first method is using an app. So if your Chromebook have Google Play Store enabled, you need to go to Google Play Store app and search for app called Vortex Cloud Gaming. In brackets, unreleased. What that means is a uh, early access version is in the beta. It's a bit buggy, but you just go and download it and open it. First time when you're going to open this app, app, it will ask you to create an account. And if you want to play the games, you need to make a monthly subscription payment, which is, I believe, five pounds and 75 pence. British, five pounds and 75 pence. If I'll click on my account, what have on my account, this is my account email that I'm account type is standard. And I have 38 and a half hours left to play. It gives 40 hours of game time. So let's go back. And let's say my favorites. This is loading right now my favorite games. Come on, show me. Here we are. That's my favorite games. So, Path of Exile, Dungeon Siege, Castlevania 2, Guild Wars, and Diablo 3. So, for example, I want to play Dungeon Siege 3. It's telling me that I can control this game using mouse and keyboard or the controller. The title of the game, that is a demo version and etc. So, if I click play, Briefly, it was showing that I am in a queue and I'm a thirst in a queue. So basically, I just straight away jumped in into the game. So as you can see, it's all running perfectly. It's streaming from internet. And I'll show you that this is my Xbox controller. So let's go. I can go through options. I can change the video quality and up to a certain extent. And so, like I was showing in the intro, you are doing a gamma, fine. Skipping the intro, picking, let's say, this character now. Doing normal, yes, fine. Skip that. Yes. So, let's go. Twist the camera around. Obviously, my Chromebook is on a Wi-Fi connectivity now, and... Sometimes it's glitchy, sound is becomes a bit jerky and, and stuff, but it's 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 doable, it's workable. Because if, I, for example, I'll tap on the arrow on the top left corner, not that all the way top, but the one down, I can change the video quality to all the way to 20 megabits per second, or let's say I'll leave at four. Obviously, the quality will decrease, but it will lag less. So this is okay, fine, running great. But what I found out about this app that not all the games can be played on the Chromebook with Google Play Store enabled. For example, I want to play Diablo 3. It's a full version, not demo, it's a full version of Diablo 3. To play this game, obviously, you need to create a battle.net account. Again, it was telling me that I'm in a first in the queue. For some reason, I'm always first in the queue. It's a good thing. I don't really want to wait for play a game, but it's weird. I'm always first in the queue. So right now I'm in the logging screen and a keyboard don't want to work. I tried everything. There is an option if I click that arrow again and do show keyboard. It gives me a big keyboard on the screen. 
let's say a tab bunch of numbers and letters as you can see my email address is not being entered i don't know why i tried everything i tried even the remote wireless controller connecting the dongle it's not working i tried well loads of things and i still cannot work it out why it don't want to work it's fine if controller straight away being recognized it was showing that this game is can be played with a controller but i can do absolutely nothing with the controller so this game is a no-no to play on the chromebook i don't know it's because of all this android but it detects the keyboard and the keyboard is, is i don't know it's, it's the way it's happened like for example guild wars i'm going to guild wars it's loading the page of this game while it's loading i will let you know that this issue with the start menu up and down when you deselect and select again it will crash the app so here we are sit tight your current place in the queue is one um, i don't know why but i'm always one I'm always thirst to go into the game. I don't really know why. So what does it now, whatever Vortex servers are, it's done updating, etc. Again, I can do nothing. I cannot enter my email. And uh, just to prove, for example, let me go open this, that same game that was running perfectly. So it's opening, it's running. And if I'll click full screen, it's there we are. Here we are connection to a machine failed and i can hear the game is running but i cannot play and when i'm trying to log in it's gonna it should well it was giving me an error you see it says that my session is already started and i need to wait for a few seconds and that few seconds never ends it's always always showing me that so this is a option one the way you can play pc games on your chromebook if you have them google play is enabled now i will show you option two option two to play pc games on your chromebook this way the option two works with basically any device that has web web browser installed basically laptop pc library computers school computers university computers your chromebook any any device that have um web browser installed so i open my web browser chrome new tab and i will write vortex gg this will take me to the website of vortex um, app so I, I, i'm already connected with the same account as a, for an app so it says standard count the same 38 and so many minutes i left gameplay of paid over paypal late 19th of june is renewed my account should be renewed so let's go browse the games so it's gonna give me a list of all the games i can play with one click and we need to play diablo so i'll click search d i and it gives me diablo click on that it's telling me again information it tells me about the keyboard and the mouse and the gamepad is suggested input uh, this game requires a free account. You need to go to battle.net to create one. I click play the game. And it's doing the same thing. I'm waiting for machine. I'm first in the queue for some unknown reason. And let's do full screen. No, yes, no. Web browser version, you can press full screen and it won't crash. So let's wait until it's all fully loaded. And let's try play Diablo 3 on my slowish Chromebook, which is has only two gigabytes of ram so let's wait it's loading it's loading like um sometimes even if i'm well i'm always one in the queue but sometimes it's low straight away sometimes it takes well the longest time i had to wait it was about half a minute 40 seconds and it all depends on my internet speed and stuff well i have a bunch of things running at the moment in my house uh, my cloud nas storage device and raspberry pi and all all other awesome gizmos so just now i need to sit and wait until it's finished loading i'm obviously have a mouse ready and i have a key controller next to me ready to go so 
the game is loaded so let's log in stay and this is my character so resume the game okay resume the game and I'm entering the Diablo 3. This is a full version. It's not demo as a dungeon CH3. This is a full Diablo 3 running on my Chromebook. Well, streaming from the cloud to my Chromebook. So here we are. That's me. So uh, let's go. The air is heavy with death. The fallen star is near. Die. Anymore? Obviously, in a browser, I don't have option to change the streaming quality. So, I'm playing with, with what I've been basically given. Obviously, if I will connect my Chromebook to an Ethernet cable, I should get the better quality gameplay. Yes, yes. Yes, where are they? Let's, let's... Here we are. Come on, let's kill all of them. That's it, they're all dead. And I earned the skill point. Yeah, let's choose that. Okay, accept. Okay, let's go inside the town. So, Diablo 3 running on my Chromebook. So, let's exit the game. What is it? Exit the game. And it goes back to a white screen or black screen or whatever color is some randomly appears. I need to click back and I need to tap leave. It goes back to this place. So uh, search, uh, search less to uh, the game that I used to play. Path of Exile that I used to play while I still owned a PC in a laptop. Then I sold the PC laptop and I bought myself a Chromebook. So I was first couple of weeks I was sad that I wasn't be able to play one of my favorite online RPG games but now I can play this game with no problems at all on my Chromebook. So it's loading again to the game. I'm first in a queue like a magic. So let's wait and see if it loads. I know sorry about that. Um my phone overheated and I couldn't do any videos so I had to wait until it cools down it took forever that's why it's about it's a little bit darker around because past like hour and 20 minutes so um, let's continue showing um, I was as I was saying path of exile so um, connecting to the path of exile well it says controller enable capable to play with the gamepad but to be honest I'm not sure if that's that's doable because it's a MMORPG it's a lot of keyboard shortcuts and etc so I'm not sure if this uh, controller would be wise option to use it but anyway I'm logging in waiting for machine obviously I'm in a queue number one in the first place so uh, I have well game is loading is uh, this game by the way is by grinding gears games company so I mean right let's log in where's my mouse there and connecting to a server so I already have a, a character created mr. Pascal play connecting to a server and that's it and to be honest, this game runs better now than was on my mid-range gaming laptop. So, um, and back then, this game, I, were, well, uh, I downloaded that this game uh, via Steam, and I used to play on my laptop, but somehow it's running better because of streaming than I used to uh, on my laptop. So as you can see, uh, adapt NVIDIA grid. So 
so that's probably what's uh, powering all this can actually increase the resolution let's say to 1024 no I can't right okay let's exit that so I'm in the first village uh, I just done a tutorial walking for a beach but yeah the game runs um, no problems I can go to my inventory I can go to uh, which is character etc show me what I have was N used to be I can't remember what's a uh, skill tree let's go to a skill tree um, P is for skill tree so that's a skill tree it's a lot a lot and a lot of um, let's say skills to pick but yeah game runs perfectly and I'm streaming it so uh, let's let's exit uh, come on mouse let's exit the path of exile let's try one more before my phone overheats again obviously again uh, when you're sitting on a website you just click back it goes back to a normal thing right let's try something else let's see world of tanks you can play you can play batman which is demo fair enough but still runs what's this just cause 2 demo fair enough uh, do, do, do. what else is come on you can play dota 2 on your Chromebook. You can play Marvel's Heroes. Seriously, Smite. Always and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I hope I mentioned uh, is five seventy five British pounds to play this or to use the service. I don't know. Let's try. Um, let's try to run Dota two. Okay, fair enough. Let's go and let's see what's gonna happen. Waiting for a machine, obviously I'm in the queue again, probably in the first place. It's running so far so good. Come on. Here we are. Dota 2 running on my Chromebook. Anything? Come on. Bingo, I'm in. Okay. Fine, uh, view details, international collection, okay. okay, start mechanical, okay, let's do a tutorial, let's do a quick gameplay of tutorial, see how all this works, mouse is a bit uh, jumpy, because obviously I don't have any mouse mouse tracker with me, so I'm just using on a glass, it's, it still works, but it's fine, um, so as you can see, I'm playing Dota 2, Controlling with them arrows. Can I control W? No. So controlling with arrows. Yes. And I'm playing Dota 2 on my Chromebook. It can't get any better. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry about all these cuts and etc. But I hope you. Well, this is the way that well I found out a couple of day, a couple of weeks ago, the way to play PC games on your Chromebook and. I will start playing Path of Exile again, I will try to complete um, Diablo 3 again. If I will find out any new features about this service called Vortex, I will definitely let you know. And uh, like I said, there is in a mid-video somewhere that you can play all PC games in two different options via their website or with the app. So as you can see, regular price is... Uh, five ninety nine. Well, that's what I paid. But then um, you can start your three dollars or two pounds and something pence, and you can start playing games. What's this? Why it's got um, Steam? Oh, join the group. Okay, fair enough. That's like a forum thing. So here we are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long for you, and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.